Hello and welcome to Value Chain News Update. I am Yemena Bagudu and on the news update, the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission has ordered distribution companies to reimburse customers who have paid for acquisition of meters under the Meter Assets Provider Initiative. The Commission gave the order in a document released on September 18, 2023 and took effect from April 1, 2023, offering guidelines on the reimbursement. The reports. Section 8F of the regulations provides that distribution licenses have obligation to reimburse customers who pay for meters under the MAP framework. The payments are to be effected through equal installment of energy credits at the time of vending, with the cost of the meter spread over a maximum period of 36 months. Section 241B of the regulations provides that where a customer chooses the option to pay upfront, the cost of the meter shall be refunded through energy credits by the distribution licensee. The provision applies specifically to upfront payments made by customers upon commencement of the MAP framework in 2018. The Commission noted that meters have an average life of 10 years and the adoption of a 10-year payment circle for reimbursement aligns with the current term sheet adopted by the Central Bank of Nigeria and other financial institutions for meter acquisition loans. It added that the cost of a prepaid meter paid by a customer under MAP shall be spread over 120 equal installments and reimbursed through energy credits computed based on prevailing tariff at the time of vending. Lack of a legal framework that will support infrastructure safety and deployment is endangering Nigerian $77 billion telecommunications sector. Specifically, the non-passage of the critical National Infrastructure Bill about 15 years after it was presented at the National Assembly has contributed in no small measure to the slow upgrade and expansion of telecoms infrastructure services, especially to the hinterland. The reports. Four successive sessions of the Parliament have discussed the National Critical Infrastructure Bill, yet none has been able to harmonize and pass the bill for presidential assent so far. These stakeholders stressed has contributed significantly to rising cases of vandalism of telecommunications infrastructure and the low incentives for fresh investments, especially in rural areas, threatening the 77 billion naira industry. Currently in Nigeria, telecoms infrastructure continue to face a number of challenges, including random shutdowns of BTS sites by some state governments and agencies. The Critical National Infrastructure Bill was first prepared in 2008 by stakeholders and presented to the National Assembly. It received some push during the tenure of the pioneer Minister of Communications Technology, Dr. Omobola Johnson, but has failed to secure the necessary backing to sail through the legislative process. As the narrow falls further against the dollar at 980 per dollar at the parallel market on Wednesday, the forex market shortage has worsened. Reacting to the collapse in narrow rate to dollar, the Association of Bureau, the Change Operators of Nigeria, in a statement urged the Central Bank of Nigeria to grant Bureau, the Change Operators, digital autonomy to achieve exchange rate convergence. The president of the association, Dr. Amino Gwadabi, called on CBN to grant a no-objection approval for the BDCs to fully go digital on all their operational correspondence. Speaking in reference to the increase in exchange rate, Nigerians warn that there are chances that other aspects of the economy will be drastically affected. Anytime there is a devaluation of the Naira, you know, the ripple effect, you know, is on uh, export, on, you know, our commodities that we buy in the market. You know, it all boils down to uh, having an effect on the economy. So you could see that prices of goods are already 
on the high rate on the side side and so it's already telling on our economy it's it is going to have a, a high ripple effect on our economy having the dollar at that all-time high of nine nine hundred and something naira you know it's 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 actually uh having a negative effect you know uh looking at the, um, our economy at the present moment the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, Ipman, has said that the body may no longer afford the importation of refined petroleum after December 2023. Ipman made the statement in reaction to increase in the landing cost of refined petroleum by 19.93% from the 500 naira per liter earlier in July which led to the last adjustment in retail pump price to 560 naira as at Wednesday. The independent marketers have attributed the current development to continued increase in crude oil prices in the international market and exchange rates fluctuations, raising the cost of dollar against the naira. This news that we just got now, that the landing cost of uh, petroleum products in Nigeria of fuel has uh, increased from 593 Naira to 670 Naira. Uh, that also will affect the price of the product that you are getting it from uh, the uh, filling stations to end users uh, any moment from now. Knowing that there's possibility of price increase, some people are going to try to buy, you know, especially the black marketers, and some fuel stations also are going to try to be hoarding the product as well. That will create uh, scarcity and also at the same time also affect the price of the product. Thanks for watching Value Chain News Update. I am Imana Babadu.